Hello, and welcome back. It's, um, it's that time of day again. No doubt. So, uh, back to amnesia. <laughs> is it just me, or is it darker? I don't remember it being this dark last video. I'll have to double check that. I don't think this game is smart enough to realize that I'm playing at night, but... Big double doors. How much you want to bet that's going to make a noise? No, this time it just won't budge. Oh, that's a mercy at least. Just want to get my bearings before I try pulling that lever over there. Or lever, if I was British. What's down here? Water. Can't go that Well, can I? Oh, not nearly far enough. I don't think this guy can swim. That's cool. That's cute. That's cute. Alright. Lever. Uh, okay. How about... No, wait. I can't use my oil properly. I know that. Oh. But there was oil over here. Yay! Glass jars are so useful. You can never have enough glass jars. Or mason jars. For, uh many different reasons. Doesn't have to be moonshine. Doesn't. Oh. Alright. Somewhat damaged. You know, my instinct is, I want to jump up and grab this and, like, just sort of, like, I don't know, shimmy on the thing until it breaks, but I'm guessing it's too big for that. Alright, well, let's try again. And wham. Alright, I'm definitely on the right track. Up, up, up. And it's kablooey. Yeah. Take that pipe. You had nothing on my wooden ladder. Nothing at all. What the heck? Are those, like, extendable bridges or lowerable bridges? Well, that's interesting. me like. Where are you going to take me today, Mr. Bridge? I'm so excited. So very excited. Yeah. Okay. What? And up. The cistern. What the heck is a cistern? I don't know. I was homeschooled. <laughs> Ah, uh, Josh, of course. I mean, I was homeschooled, but we're not we're not stupid. I promise you that. We are not stupid. We're actually, uh... Usually, homeschoolers are pretty darn smirk. Pretty darn smirk. We just, uh... We forget to sign our names on our papers a lot. That's all. <laughs> You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Oh, that's water? So it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like for drinking? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. I didn't really look down there, but I, uh, I should have made the connection that that's water right there. Huh. Um, I don't like water for uh, obvious reasons in this game. Um, I don't like water. I don't. And I can't imagine that the game designers would put a giant room. Look how big this is. A giant room of water in here and not have a uh, you-know-who up here. Oh, man. Uh, jump! I don't hear it. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? What is that? What? Someone there? Hang on. Hup. You hear that? I think there's somebody in there. Woo! Presents. A faint murmur. I hope no one's in there. That doesn't seem like a very good place to be. You know what I mean? 
Jelly bean. Do you know what I mean? Jelly bean, jelly bean, jelly bean, bean, bean. Up. And up. What was that? Oh god, please tell me that was a fish. I mean, usually it, like, walks if it's there, right? Uh, I don't want to jump down there just in case. Ooh, note! 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Yeah, I already seen that anatomy room and that, uh... That didn't strike my fancy. Spinny, spinny! Whoop, whoop! Oh. oh, man. Tell me I didn't just release the monster. Please. Please, tell me. I figure I would probably hear him walking around if he was there. Whoop. And, yep. I'm still not going down in that water any more than I have to, though. Just cause. Yeah, can you hear that? Oh god, I really hope there's no one in there. Because <laughs> I appear to have a... sprung a leak there. <laughs> yep. Come on, Daniel, chill. Chill, man. Chill, Lax. There's probably just a water monster that wants to kill you. Again. Well, not again. He didn't get me last time, but... I mean, he's here again. But I have to run through that water, so... Yep! Jump! 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 Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Oh, I hear bubbles. I'm forever blowing bubbles. What's that from? I don't even know what that's from. I think I heard my dad sing it once. Or twice, or maybe several times, as mockery to me. I don't know. But I don't know what it is. Yeah! Okay, anyway. Yep. Wait, what? A rusty chain. Uh, mementos. Bridge must be lowered. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see this memento. When did this come from? Valves in the cistern redirect water from the sewer. Okay. Rusty chain. I kind of need something to cut it, but I don't think I can... Uh, nope. Come on, one more time. And... Climb, 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 cut! Nope. Okay. Well... If it's really taut, high tension, and it's really... Oh, that's will do. Rusty. Maybe this rock can break it. I don't know. Let's try it. And how's you? Yay! Rock beats metal. That's not generally true, but uh, in this case, boop. man, why is there so many ruins? I kind of, kind of would like a nice clear path for once. Ugh. Ah, plank. Thank you. And another note. Oh, joy. 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. 
It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, classic Star Wars right there. I've got a bad feeling about this. And you know what? I really do have a bad feeling about this. I have for a long time. So it sounds like Daniel's kind of been indoctrinated, and I'm honestly confused why he wants to kill Alexander. I mean, don't get me wrong. The guy's obviously creepy. I still haven't forgiven him for what he did to dogs, but... You know, and the, you know, the dungeons and all that. I mean, yeah, people died too. But the dogs! And uh, it sounds like he's just being helpful to Daniel, so I don't know where things went wrong, but... Alright, this lantern or torch is probably going to blow out. And now... Yep. Yep, up, uh, up, up, yep. There it goes. Uh, well, at least that's somewhat predictable. I prefer a uh, certain level of uh, predictability. Makes life a little easier. It does. Looks like the water's flowing a little bit faster down there. Did you hear that? Tell me you heard that. I can't be crazy. I think I have to go over there. It's the only lit up place left, which means there hasn't been a wind there, which means there's probably a valve there, which means I probably need to go there. But I just heard that monster. Where are you? Die! Seriously. For once in my life, luck out. Die! Uh, it's probably just waiting for me. It's toying with my soul. Alright. We have to make a break for it, guys. Let's hope. Oh, ouch. Ow! What hurt me? What hurt me? Ow. At least I got plenty of health, but... Steam! Oh, lovely. Yep. Yep. Ow! Ah. Yep. Ooh, valve. But where's the page? There's always a page. Wait, hang on. Let's try. Oh, it stopped the steam! So I can get back. How considerate. Okay. Hey, I'm not complaining. That sounds great. And there's the note. How predictable. Back of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. And now you're starting to ask the right questions, Daniel. You are. Why? What do you stand to gain? Assume everybody is a Machiavellian and to some extent, and your life will probably be better. Whoa! This sounds serious. Sounds Siri. Very Siri. Because, you know, I'm way too cool to actually say both syllables. Siri, yes. No, wait, that's a three level so, uh, Three syllables? Siri, uh, yeah, three syllables. I just say two. Siri. Like the iPhone. Siri. Oh, uh, do I want to run? I gotta run. There's a fishy! Fishy, fishy! Alright, here we go. I don't remember where to go. I honestly don't remember where I want to go. This way? Is this the way out? Sure looks like it. But nothing in... 
has really happened, has it? Huh. I feel like something else... Ow! Gosh darn it, I should stop jumping that high. I feel like something else should have happened by now. To make it scarier, but... Nothing's happening. I'm curious about that guy in there, though. Oops, I forgot. Jump. Buddy? Oh. Oops. I think I may have just murdered somebody. Accident. Accident. Promise. Lips. Didn't mean to. Okay. Well, if nothing scary is going to happen, then hey, whatever. No skin off my back. No mementos. Yeah, I think I've completed all my objectives here. I've been freaking out over nothing. Man, how often does that happen? <laughs> oh, how often? Okie doke. Well, that's one down. Let's lower this other bridge, shall we? <laughs> Wait. Machine powering the control. Well, oh, gear. Well, that's probably where I want to go next. So, all right. Well, uh, time to pause the video and move on to the next part. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Lord Provis with MD to the Dark Descent. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a, a like or a comment, maybe both. I, would, uh, I mean, I don't really gain anything out of it, but it, it makes me feel good. It only takes you, like, you know, five seconds. So, yeah, please do that, and uh, I'll make more videos. So, thank you very much.